Hello, everyone. I understand that many of you, like myself, have various questions regarding electric cars before making a purchase. I've conducted thorough research to address these concerns. Before you make a decision to buy one, I recommend watching this informative video until the end. One common question that often comes up is, do electric cars explode? Let's explore this topic in the video. The risk of electric cars exploding is extremely low. Electric vehicles, EVs, are designed with multiple safety features and undergo rigorous testing to ensure their safety. The batteries in electric cars are typically made with materials that are stable and have mechanisms in place to prevent overheating and other potential issues. While any vehicle, including traditional gasoline cars, can experience accidents or fires, the incidence of electric cars exploding is rare. That said, it's crucial to follow proper charging and usage guidelines provided by the manufacturer to minimize any risks. Additionally, advancements in electric vehicle technology continue to enhance safety features and reduce potential hazards. What are the potential consequences if we were to submerge an electric car in water, particularly in a moderately deep river? Electric cars are not submarines, and they're not designed for underwater adventures. If you try to drive your electric car through a deep river, you're asking for trouble. Water and electricity don't mix well, unless we're talking about hydroelectric power, but that's a different story. Most electric cars are not waterproof, and their sensitive electronic components can get damaged if submerged in water. The batteries, especially, are vulnerable. Water and high-voltage electricity are a big no-no. So, the rule of thumb. If it's a little puddle, no worries. But if you're thinking about fording rivers, you might want to stick to conventional off-road vehicles. Save the aquatic adventures for boats, and let your electric car do what it does best on dry land. What is the expected lifespan of the car's battery? The lifespan of a car battery can vary depending on several factors, including the type of battery, driving conditions, maintenance practices, and climate. On average, a car battery typically lasts between three to five years. However, some batteries may last longer, while others may need replacement sooner. Here are some factors that can influence the lifespan of a car battery. Type of battery. There are different types of car batteries, including lead-acid batteries, absorbed glass mat, AGM batteries, and lithium-ion batteries. Each type has its own characteristics and lifespan. Driving conditions. Stop-and-go driving, short trips, and frequent engine starts can put more strain on the battery, potentially reducing its lifespan. Climate. Extreme temperatures, both hot and cold, can affect battery performance. High temperatures can cause the battery to lose water and accelerate the chemical reactions that contribute to aging. On the other hand, cold temperatures can reduce the battery's cranking power. Maintenance. Regular maintenance, such as checking and cleaning the battery terminals, can help extend the life of a car battery. Ensuring that the charging system is working properly is also important. Quality of the battery. The quality and brand of the battery can impact its lifespan. Higher quality batteries may have better construction and materials leading to a longer life. Usage patterns. If a vehicle is not used for extended periods, the battery can discharge, and this deep discharge can affect its lifespan. In such cases, using a battery maintainer or disconnecting the battery when the vehicle is not in use can help. It's essential to monitor the condition of your car battery regularly and replace it if you notice signs of weakness or if it reaches the end of its expected lifespan. Some modern vehicles also have advanced charging systems that can help extend the life of the battery. Additionally, hybrid and electric vehicles use different types of batteries with their own lifespan characteristics. How long does it typically take to charge an electric car? The time it takes to charge an electric car varies but can range from several hours, level 1 or level 2 charging, to around 30 minutes to an hour for fast charging, level 3, DC fast charging. Charging time depends on factors such as battery capacity, charging station power, and the initial state of charge. Do electric cars need an oil change? No. Electric cars do not require oil changes. 
Unlike traditional gasoline or diesel vehicles that have internal combustion engines, electric cars use electric motors for propulsion. Electric motors don't have the same complex mechanical components that need lubrication with oil, so there is no need for regular oil changes in electric cars. Does using the heater in an electric car significantly impact its battery range, and what factors contribute to the energy consumption when heating the interior in cold weather? Yes, using the heater in an electric car can have a noticeable impact on its battery range. The energy required for heating the interior comes from the car's battery. Several factors contribute to increased energy consumption during heating in cold weather, including the outside temperature, desired interior temperature, efficiency of the heating system, and the CZ and insulation of the car's cabine. In very cold conditions, the additional energy needed for heating can reduce the overall driving range of an electric car. How far can electric cars travel? The driving range of electric cars, EVs, varies depending on the model, battery size, driving conditions, and other factors. However, the average range of an EV is currently around 250 miles on a single charge. Some EVs have a range of over 400 miles, while others have a range of less than 100 miles. What are the disadvantages of an electric car currently? In examining the current state of electric cars, it's crucial to recognize certain challenges that exist today. Please bear in mind that the electric vehicle landscape is rapidly evolving, and the issues we discuss now may undergo transformation in the future. Today, electric cars face a few challenges. They have limited driving range, and finding charging stations, especially in less developed areas, can be a hassle. Charging times are improving, but still slower than filling up a gas tank. Upfront costs are higher compared to traditional vehicles. But here's the promising part. Technology is advancing rapidly. Expect better batteries with longer ranges and faster charging. The charging infrastructure is growing, and increased adoption will drive further investment. Over time, economies of scale will likely narrow the cost gap, and efforts are ongoing to address environmental impacts. Can I charge an electric car at home? Yes, you can charge an electric car at home. Home charging is a convenient and common practice for electric vehicle owners, typically using a standard household electrical outlet, level 1, or a dedicated home charging station, level 2. Is it possible to cook food inside an electric car? Cooking food inside an electric car is not a recommended or standard practice due to safety concerns and the fact that electric cars are not equipped with features for cooking. It's advisable to use appropriate cooking appliances designed for such purposes, following safety guidelines and avoiding attempts to repurpose a vehicle's systems for cooking. What is unique about electric vehicles? Electric vehicles, EVs, are unique due to their reliance on rechargeable batteries, resulting in zero emissions during operation, higher energy efficiency, quieter operation, regenerative braking, reduced maintenance needs, home charging convenience, and integration of smart and connected features. Government incentives further contribute to their appeal. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you found this discussion interesting and informative. If you'd like to stay updated on more engaging content, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support is greatly appreciated.